Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're dusting off the lead code cobwebs with the daily question 1400 construct k palindrome strings. Given a string s and an integer k, return true if you can use all of the characters in s to construct k palindrome strings or false otherwise. So for example, if we have Annabelle, we can basically split it and say maybe we could use Anna and then Elbel um, to form the palindrome and there's actually a few more options we could do. So with this question, we need to remember how we actually form a palindrome. Remember that for palindrome, all of the characters need to match. So basically, um, you're going to need to have all characters. All uh, characters must be uh, even count. So that means that you'll have an equal amount on each side, because if they're even, then it's divisible by two, so you'll always have a match. And then you can have one character on its own uh, in the middle, right? You could have something like A, A, C, A, A, and that's fine. As long as this character is in the middle, that's okay. So we're allowed to have some odd character counts, but they have to be in the middle. So all we actually need to do for this algorithm is actually build a dictionary which maps for each character its frequency. And we're gonna count all of the odd frequencies and if there's more odd frequencies than K, then it's impossible for us to actually build um, these palindromes because obviously you can only use one character as the middle and we can't form K palindromes if we have more than K odd characters. So all we need to do is basically just figure out the count of each character and then count the number of odds. And if there's more odds than K, then there's no way we can form K palindromes because the problem said we actually need to use all of the characters. So let's just quickly code this up. First thing we wanna do, let's just handle some of the edge cases. So we're gonna say if the length of the string is less than K, then obviously it's impossible to form uh, this palindrome. And also if the length of S actually equals to K, then we can always form this. So we can say if the length of S actually equals to K, then we can simply return true, um, nothing to do there. So now all we need to do is actually figure out the count of the odds, and we're just gonna use a simple dictionary to store the frequencies. So we're gonna say odd dict, and this is just gonna be collections dot default dict int, and then we're gonna keep track of the odd count. Uh, and this is gonna be zero, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through each of the characters in our string and basically um, update its count. So we're gonna say for char in S, we're going to say odd dict of char. We're gonna add one to the count. Now that we've done that, all we need to do is just go through the odd count, uh, sorry, go through the dic dictionary keys and basically just get the value and see if it's odd or not. So we're gonna say for char val in odd um, dict, actually we don't even need the character, we don't care about it. Uh, odd dict, we can just say for val in odd dict dot values. We're just gonna say if this number is odd, then we wanna increment our count. So we're gonna say if the value modulo two equals to one, so if it's odd, we're gonna say odd count, uh, odd count plus, uh, plus equals to one. And at the end, remember, if the odd count is actually um, greater than or equal to K, uh, then we're okay. If it's greater than K, then we basically need to return false. So all we're gonna do is return whether the odd count is less than or equal to K, because that will mean that we actually can form our palindrome because the rest of the characters will be an even count. Obviously, it's gonna be either even or odd. So let's quickly submit this and uh, looks good. Cool. So before we go, what is the time and space complexity here? Um, so for the time, obviously, all we're doing is just going through our string um, from left to right twice. So this is going to be big O of S, uh, where S is the length of the string. So yeah, we just need to basically just go through the odd dictionary, uh, sorry, the, uh, the string to parse it. So that's just going to be based on that. And our space complexity is actually gonna be big O of one because we know that um, I think from the problem description, uh, if we go back, uh, where is it? No, where's the description? Uh, if we go to the description, it's only lowercase English letters. Because of this, 
Um, we know that the dictionary will at most store 26 characters, so that means it's known up front what the space is, so it's a constant space allocation, so it's just going to be bigger of one uh, on the space. So that's the time complexity and the space complexity. So that's how you solve this problem, relatively straightforward, don't really have to know uh, too much. So luckily an easy one for uh, today's daily. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, why not leave it a like and a comment, helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, subscribe for more uh, videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.